it's unlikely that China would increase the ambition of its commitments under the Paris Agreement this year, in part due to some of the headwinds that we've touched upon with energy security concerns, as well as slowing economic growth domestically. But at the same time, there's massive progress on the renewable energy build up front domestically, um, which is quite promising, and especially when taken in the context of China's uh, economic recovery and growth trajectory uh, this decade, during the decisive decade out to 2030, um, could make a significant dent in what that emissions trajectory looks like. The India's direction of travel is firmly towards clean energy. So I would like to point out something that is critical for emissions reduction that is happening, and that is on fossil fuel subsidy reform. Now, India has already shown strong leadership on energy subsidy reform with policy changes to gasoline, to diesel, to kerosene, and overall fossil fuel energy subsidies have fallen significantly over the last four year, uh, seven years by 72% between 2014 and 2021. We've also seen that government support is in the right direction. And by support, I mean expenditure of government money is in the right direction, slowly moving from fossil fuels to renewable energy. Now, it's no exaggeration to say that that invasion of Ukraine hasn't changed the entire conversation about fossil fuels versus clean energy in Europe. Clearly now, moving away from fossil fuels as soon as possible does not only deal with climate change and air pollution, it also keeps energy bills down. It also allows European countries to have independent foreign policies. It eliminates the possibility of energy blackmail, all of these things. Um, and it's quite obvious that European citizens support the move to clean energy uh, going faster in response to that. We, one, one way in which this might go is that the US and China start to focus in on a narrower set of issues that they may be able to come together on. One of those may be methane, and Biden made a point of, of coming to COP with some very concrete um, updating of, of the methane, methane emissions reduction plan for the US um, and with strengthening of the regs for methane. And we do see methane as an area where China is presenting plans, um, is doing the internal work, and the US is in parallel. Maybe not everything is perfectly uh, uh, connected, but in terms of having aligned areas of work where they may find some narrower things to focus on, that could open doors.